Hello then. Let's take a look at a couple neat features. You can't, before I show you this, you can't find this on a Nikon or a Canon because I've taken a lot of Nikons and Canon supports. It's actually a weather sealed tripod socket. This is, yes, the X-T2 tripod socket and it is weather sealed. Not found on a modern Nikon or modern Canon. Fact. Fact. Um, this is the top display of the Fujifilm. Uh, X-T2, there's the feed for the EVF, I mentioned that in the prior video. The only thing that's actually holding it on, and it's more than adequate enough, and it's a tough sucker, is this bracket that is held in place to the uh, rear display vis-a-vis -vis two screw holes back here, which were covered up by a sticker. So there's a sticker covering up the two screw holes there that held in this bracket, which attached the uh, rear plate of the X-T2 to the top plate. Take a look at this. Here we go. Take a look. Hidden underneath. Let me close the display. Hidden underneath this uh, white sticker. This, by the way, is the uh, processor that attaches to the back of the uh, main board. This uh, covers the processor, makes contact with it is the heat sink. Yes, girls and boys, the mine for copper inside your X-T2. This is a, uh, this looks like a 10-gauge uh, copper plate. Uh, it's pretty enormous. Heat dissipation, direct contact to the magnesium backplate of your X-T2. So this is the enormous heat sink on your X-T2. Mm, beautiful. And by the way, um, there was a, uh, a, uh, a rubber pad over top of the LCD display, another rubber pad here, and another rubber pad on the bottom. Also, too, not found on a modern Nikon or Canon. There's only, and I do mean it sincerely, only one single rubber gasket on the outside and a foam pad on the inside on a modern Nikon. There are one, two, three, four. Four total versus two. Mm, there we go. The rear display, so... There's some stuff you now know about your X-T2. Yeah, here we go for the exposure comp wheel. <laughs> Fuji. Okay, let me keep working on down the line and uh, Catch you uh, later.